Hello everyone, this is Dragonfly. Welcome to another DCS World Mission playthrough in the AV-8B Harrier. And uh, today we're going to be flying Mission 5 of the scenario that we've built up in our Mission Editor tutorial over the last seven videos. And it's basically a uh, scramble from the FARP to intercept a couple of helicopters. But uh, we'll get into the uh, aircraft and start the mission from there and just play it out from there. So the first thing we want to do is start the mission. And this particular mission starts by putting COM2 to 265. Dragonfly Warhorse, I'll copy. Warhorse, copy loud and clear. Dragonfly Warhorse, two hind helicopters are preparing for immediate takeoff from the Dragonfly abandoned airfield Warhorse south. Alcott. Kobaletti, comment indicates that they plan on reattacking Sam Treaty with Saren, load air to air and intercept them. A UAV monitoring the abandoned field airfield south of Kobaletti reports that the two hind helicopters have started engines. Load air to air and launch ASAP. Shoot them down if they violate the UN no-fly zone agreement and take off. The first thing we need to do is load up air to air. Chief refuel. So we'll put uh, sidewinders everywhere we can. And we'll load up a gun also. I'm going to bring the fuel down a little bit uh, to about 22,000. because uh, we're going to take off to the south here and we want to be able to get over that tree. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Copy. Now while he's loading us up, we'll go ahead and uh, do our administrivia in here. Turn the TAC on. Channel 40. Altitude alert, 100. Radar on the uh, radar altimeter. Expendables to auto. I'll put 2,000 for the bingo. Turn the lights up. Turn the exterior lights off. I'll go ahead and preset our uh, nozzle stop to 60 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps down to STO. Refueling complete. Stabilizer trim is zero. We want the nose wheel steering and nose wheel steering. And make sure that those nozzles are 10 degrees. Waiting for him to load up uh, all the stores so that we'll check the nozzle rotation airspeed. 71. Dragonfly Warhorse, I'll copy. Red helicopters are airborne and en route. Looks like some air to air work for you. The residents of Sam Treaty are counting on you. Okay, well, let's go ahead and parking brake off. Come up to EW. Power coming up. I'll release the brakes at 80%. Keep the brake, keep the uh, power continuing up. Rotate up over this tree. Get that uh, start working the nozzles. Get, getting them towards zero and accelerating here. 120 knots, the gear's coming up. And the flaps are up. Forgot to put the water out. That could have been really dangerous. Now 
nozzles to zero. And the power is back below 100 RPM. Master mode is on. I'm going to air to air mode. And I'm going to put the. Uh, eh, we won't do that yet. too noisy. We'll turn to a heading of about 140 initially and then I'm going to have to simulate the AWACS because uh, I didn't put an AWACS in here and uh, uh, so I'll just simulate it by looking at the F-10 map to see where these helicopters are at. Get down a little bit lower here. arm on so I don't forget it when it's time. Okay, let's see where the helicopters are. 10. 10. Okay, let's hit about a 150 heading. 1. That's almost what we're on now. I'll initially put the sidewinders into the seam mode, which is basically expands the tracker so that it can look around a little bit more like that, rather than a bore sight mode. Ten. One. I'm going to keep on this vector, and try to come up behind them, become even a little bit lower. Now let's slow down because. Uh, the faster you are, the bigger your turn radius is. And uh, these helicopters are flying pretty slow, about 90 knots. We're, we're not going to get that slow, but uh, uh, we definitely don't want to be up at 500 knots either. 10. 1. So it looks like we can go ahead and start turning in towards the mountains. And to be below them so that I'm looking up at the sky and hopefully that'll make them easier to see or we'll see their heat source. 10. 1. Ten. One. Yeah, let's see how that looks. The vector. Ten. One. Looks like I need to come a little bit more. out here and see if I can see anything. Ten. One. Uh, okay, I actually do see them. Amazed. I only have some pretty substantial flares, so I need to get in pretty close before I fire. Dragonfly, 
warblers an e2 hawkeye reports the helicopters appear to be aborting their mission great job yeah they're damaged and or destroyed so they're not going to be dropping any chemical weapons so let's go ahead and uh, go back to v-stall turn the master arm off tachyon is on 296 for 20. We can speed up now. I'm going to clear the uh, nozzle stop. And let's see. Our nose wheel steering is a nose wheel steering. So we can go and do a short landing. Get here in the hills. Hide just in case there's a low altitude SAM or some guns looking for us. I'm going to try to go out to the coast and land to the north um, on the uh, northern one. It's kind of hard to do. What I may do, wind up doing is uh, lining up with the field to the left and then just kind of milking my way over the road. Eleven miles out. heading to the south of this salt lake and then we'll turn in northbound at the coast. We probably should slow down a bit, at least to 350. As I said, I like to be at 350 at about 5 miles out and 500 feet. start turning pull some of this air speed off I want to be at 250 at three miles I should have been dumping gas Check our weight real quick. Yeah, we're going to be pretty heavy. Okay, water is on. Flaps are stow. 60 degrees on the uh, nozzles. Some power. there in front of us. I don't want to go too much lower than S325 at, at the very lowest. And since we're so heavy, I really don't want to get my airspeed down too low until I absolutely have to. absolutely happen to. So let's go ahead and go 82 on the nozzles. Kill some of that airspeed.
probably should have been in caster for that landing instead of nose wheel steering. Okay, the uh, parking brake is on, the water is off. Throttles to 10 and flaps all the way up. Two. Pretty close to the intersection. Check our results. We scored 60, killed two helicopters, and 100% mission effective. All right. Well, that concludes this mission, a short one. And uh, hopefully you're better at that mission than I am. That, that one was a tough one for me. Uh, you got to be eagle-eyed uh, to do that one. So uh, everybody have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Dragonfly out.